Ohio, it is Nico Ralph again, and we've moved on to Archicad tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create fields and line times. Uh, I find this option very useful because uh, its default fields, now I will draw one, are not uh, sufficiently professional. As we can see, I need some fields for grass, for stones, and uh, this field is not very rich. It contains only triangles, and uh, for architectural drawings, we need uh, better fields. Or uh, if we search for a wood uh, cut field, um, yes, or a cut stone, it, it doesn't actually represent the. Um, characteristics of a stone. That's why we need to create our own fields. I've drew, uh, before I started this video, I've already drew, drawn uh, some lines and uh, points. I've uh, created a boundary for my field. Uh, that's all you need to do actually uh, for creating a field. Uh, draw some lines, polylines, circles and uh, hotspots uh, to separate the field from everything else. And uh, yes, you need to add hotspots to determine the extent of the field. Hotspots are in the more menu of the toolbox. So we just place four hotspots in the corners. And now our field is ready to be created. We need to copy everything. Except the lines of course. I use the lines only to determine where to place the, my hotspots. Now I don't need the lines anymore. And just copy. Control plus C. Go to options, element attributes, field types. Uh, yes, we are going to use this fill for grass and uh, for the cover fills, drafting fills and cut fills. Now I will create a new fill. We need to use just a symbol fill and uh, name it uh, grass. Grass, uh, grass with triangles like that. Now as you can see here we've started with uh, a few which uh, represents this uh, screen only pattern here which we'll modify now. Just left click uh, somewhere in this window over a black dot and it will start removing these black dots. Just hold the left uh, mouse button like that. And now we will draw randomly some triangles and dots. Like that. Looks more like a triangle. Like that. Uh, this is uh, only for the screen representation of the field. Now click paste to insert these elements in the field definition you can see what uh, the result is I will zoom in the hotspot deter uh, determine the hotspots determine uh, the field extent and this is uh, um, repeated on a regular basis and now we can change the motif size here. Uh, it actually doesn't uh, change too much, but uh, we can uh, make it a regular number for our convenience. Like that. And now we have to determine uh, whether the field will be scale uh, scaled with plan or scaled independently. And the difference is that if we click scale with plan, when we change, I will show you now, 
We click scale with plan and we place uh, the fill now. Just go to document, fill tool, place the fill. And now since we enabled it to be used uh, with drafting fills, we must uh, see it somewhere. Grass, cover fill. Or actually we, uh, we use this fill which created grass triangles. This is the result. It's quite random. Uh, you can see that um, it's all we need for grass. But now uh, if we change uh, the scale of the plan to a uh, 100 ratio, the fuel remains the same. It doesn't change much. Uh, if we click 20, yes, exactly the same. Because we click the scale plan, uh, it will be scaled only in the layout, actually. But uh, if we define the same field using scale independently, we must find it now, grass triangles, and we click uh, scale independent, you will see what uh, the result will be. Now it's 1 to 20, but if we click 1 to 50, you can see what the result is. Much uh, less uh, triangles and uh, you, you will see the view uh, in close-up motion. How to create line types? Uh, this is a big issue for me because uh, its line types are very 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 basic. Now I just create the line and uh, you can see what the line types it, uh, the program offers. Uh, yes, quite basic uh, and actually I don't use uh, many of them, I use mostly solid line, dash line, dash dot line and uh, uh, occasionally I use uh, these line types but uh, I need uh, a line type for insulation, for stones and so on. So how to create a line type? Uh, I've already uh, drawn uh, some pretty fine basic shapes like lines here, circles here and now I must uh, create a boundary for my line type definition. I draw some lines in the top, top segment like this, I just filleted them. Now, uh, as we did before, you, you've got to create some hotspots. Only where, uh, wh wherever you want the axis to be placed. These hotspots are for my convenience, uh, to be able to snap uh, correctly when defining the line. And now, uh, a problem you may encounter is uh, whether you want uh, the reference line to be in the middle or in the top or uh, at the bottom. I want it to be at the bottom, but uh, if I define the, the, the line type now by clicking, uh, by selecting the elements and clicking uh, Ctrl plus C, going to options, element attributes, line types, and defining new line type. Simple line type, define it uh, insulation. Up insulation, paste line component. And now you will see because I created it uh, on the spot, uh, <coughs> I, uh, the program uh, assumes that I want the reference line to be in the middle. Uh, the same uh, applies here, we want it to be scaled with plan and uh, no, no gap, zero. Uh, this doesn't matter at all. Let's create it. And now you will see that the line type will have its reference line in the middle. Which I don't want because, uh, for instance, if I create uh, a roof, 
moment I want to represent an insulation view where the roof is cut by the floor plan. You will see that uh, it won't suit my needs. I want uh, first I need a lesser view uh, with less spacing, so uh, less um, a small line type. So I have to change the size of it. Like this even less. Let's make it 5. And that is sufficient, but uh, I want to be able to snap the end point to the ending of the roof cut line here. Which I am not able to do now because uh, my line type is uh, snapping in the middle. I can snap the middle of course, but uh, that's not correct. So I want the snapping to be either in the in this ending here or in the top. Further, I will enable my coordinates toolbar. Just searching for it and uh, set user origin. We set it in the beginning of our line, tab. and now everything uh, has to be. As expected, paste line type components and click zero. Yep. Yes, we will make it smaller, five again, and click OK. And now, when we create a line with this line type. You will see that uh, it is snapping in the bottom of it. And now I can easily just drag it and uh, create my line, line type to fill perfectly my uh, cut uh, section here. Thanks for watching, this was uh, all I wanted uh, to show you in this video. I hope you enjoy using uh, your own created uh, ArchiCut fields and slide types.